This is the Treveca Sports Network. I'm Lucas Panzica, joined by women's soccer head coach Kelsey Phoenix and had the volleyball schedule release on Friday. They'll start in January. For women's soccer, it is a March 13th, 13th kickoff date at Kentucky Wesleyan College before returning home to face Tiffin. Coach, congratulations. Has to feel good to have that next step for you and your team. Yeah, thanks, Lucas. Um, it is so exciting to have just something on the calendar. Uh, it seems far away still, but it's just exciting to have something to look forward to. And uh, yeah, just really excited to get back out there against these conference teams. A lot of early challenges on this schedule. What do you take away from it at first glance? Yeah, I mean, I think there is no easy conference game. I think every team shows up to play just because there's so much on the line. Um, I think, you know, Kentucky Wesleyan's always given us a great game. Um, Finley pops out pretty quick just because they were ranked in the top 25 last year, made it a couple rounds into the NCAA tournament. And I know they have, a, they have a very young roster, so they'll be coming back with um, similar players. And that's always just such a gritty, tough game. And that'll be that'll be game number three. So it doesn't give you a ton of, ton of time to kind of iron out things. But, uh, but I'm excited. I like playing because they give us a good challenge. There is some fluidity involved there as you don't have any non-conference opponents yet. You'll be able to add some. You talk about wanting that challenge. So what do you look for when you look for non-conference teams to play? Yeah, I'm a big believer in, you know, if you want to be the best, you've got to play the best teams. And so um, last year we played three or four top 25 teams and, you know, we'll try to do the same this year. We've got several teams kind of within our region and driving distance. Lee University, Montevallo, just some really, really strong teams that I absolutely love playing against because they're so good. Um, and they just they really expose us and, and cause us to kind of, you know, ask what we need to improve, what we need to work on and really prepare us for our conference play. Obviously, the last few months just filled with unknowns. Now you've got something concrete in front of you, but it's not until middle of March as we sit now in the beginning of October. How does this change maybe the outlook of the next few months for how you organize things as a head coach? Yeah, I think it's it's such a relief to just have something to kind of point our players toward because I think it's felt like we're trying to hit a moving target, honestly, and um, dates getting changed and seasons getting changed and all that um, and so, yeah, I think this is just going to give them like an actual focal point and a date to like, OK, this is what we're working towards, um, because it's typically, you know, GMAC championship at the end of the fall. And it's kind of been like we don't we don't really know what's happening. Um, so I think this is going to be really helpful in just kind of focusing, narrowing our focus as a team. Does it feel like a weight lifted now with that March 13th date in front of you as the next step? Yeah, it really does. It feels great. And I think the players especially, because um, I think for them, you know, as a coach, you you kind of hear more information behind the scenes of like, OK, this is probably what's going to happen. But for the players, they're not really sure. And um, I think for them, it's going to be like, OK, like this is what I'm training for. Like this is what we're getting better for. And so I think there's going to be a huge weight lifted off the shoulders of, of these players. A 10 game conference slate with a few more non-conference games to be added. You can find it on TNUtrojans.com. But Coach Phoenix, congratulations. Looking forward to seeing you guys get back to work. Yeah, thanks, Lucas. I appreciate it.